does that. So you Maybe can't help me? Maybe this is your way of getting... I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody Wait, does. come back! Nobody. Yeah, I'm gonna... Stop! It's me! Don't come near I me! I think, uh... I think we should not leave her alone. What do you think? Uh, I don't know that we have a choice. Can we follow her? I'll try. I like the, I just like the, the sentiment of trying to help her. Uh, ah. Uh. I can't believe a teacher just told her no in helping her. We need to go smack him in the face. Where is he? I'm sorry, I can't. You! The fuck? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Why are you so what can I do me? for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with what our security fuck? chief yesterday. David Madsen? I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have God damn it, instigated right? the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. Well, you're also a douchebag. My number bag. one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out. That's yeah. what you should care about, Mr. Jefferson. I, I'm getting really frustrated that every avenue of, like, trying to get help is being, like... Blocked? Blocked, which I guess can be realistic for some people, and it also cannot be realistic for others. I just don't want it to send a message to people who, in, like, in real life, who are that watching you this. ask for help? Yeah, so yeah. in real life, like... I understand that things like this can happen where everything goes against you and like you really sometimes you're just it's not gonna work out for you but I want people to know who's watching this like you can still ask for help from mm -hmm. somebody cuz not in real life when you ask 15 different people for help you know at least half of them are gonna be like okay yeah, yeah. not like every single one be like well there's a rich guy and I mean you know Money has power, but not so much where you can control an entire town, the police, the school, and everything. Yeah. I mean, if the police don't help you... Okay, I'm going to tell you guys something. Somebody I know, like, was being harassed by this guy who was really rich. And he said, he told her, go ahead and call the police. They can't do anything because they're in my pocket. Because he had, like, a bunch of police buddies that he would give drugs and money to. Mm-hmm. And she was so scared. And so then what she did, she called the police chief. And she told him what would happen. She was crying. And he said, that's not going to happen. Like, if he ever touches you again, I'm going to have the fr people who are his friends come and arrest him. Because that's not how it works. Yeah. So if somebody tells you that, you can keep going above their head and you can tell them. And, like... It may seem like everybody's corrupted, but not everybody is corrupted. Just some douchebags. So, that's yeah. like a real story that happened. I won't say who it was, but, like, that's real. So, I know that came got really dark, but I just wanted to make sure people felt like they can go to somebody. You know? Anyway, sorry, it got really dark. Um, Kate, Kate is freaked, is freaked out. out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Oh, fuck you! She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Oh, fuck you! She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? What? I knew it. I knew you were shit. I knew you were a piece of shit from the second I saw you. Yes, I fucking talked to her. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. Weird. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Nathan Prescott. First of all, that was private and Nathan Prescott. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? 
I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? I'll smash yes? your fucking phone in your face. Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. We're, like, just getting... Shut down on every level. Yeah. I'm feeling really frustrated right now, like... Uh -huh. I'm just being like, what the fuck? If I was like Max and people repeatedly sure. refused to believe me, especially about a gun, I would be really mad. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Wait a second. Stella is smart to stay out of all the what? drama. Okay. Oh. Dana, I'll do that. You are out of control. Turn left, then right. Oh. Show me the I love. know. That makes sense. How do I look, Taylor? You look like huh? this. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Hey, fuck off. Get out of my class. <gasps> I knew it! Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we no. were best friends no. forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. You, can you tell him, Max? Max clearly so has some balls to be able to stand up to some guy who almost, like, killed somebody. I know. Who essentially did kill somebody. Yes. Because it just wasn't in this timeline. But we know that he has it in him to do it. There goes Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Something doesn't seem right. Why can't I do anything? Can we look at any of our stuff? Uh-oh. Hey, Max. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. You yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. I'm liking where he's going. Mm -hmm. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between I guess Kate will miss class now. The shadow play that gives photography I'm worried about her. Visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective. What is that? Is precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy uh, shit is going no. down at the girl's door! Zachary, do we not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! No. Look, everybody we're all like, remain seated. No. Dismissed. Oh no. Is this for real? It's flipped out. Oh I didn't no! Think she was down. Oh no! No! Please! 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 Leave me alive! Please! Leave me alive! Oh, who is that up there? Oh! No! 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 Oh no! 
Is that Kate? I hope not, not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh my god, we froze time. It's worth it. We'll die, but we'll save Kate. Stab Nathan. Keep Kate alive. It's the balance of life. That's we, how it works. What can we keep? Is there something going we can move underneath her? Max, like, or do we have to? Yeah. Nathan's body. Kim. This is do so it. Working, but I'm really upset right now. Yeah. Maybe we have to walk up the stairs. Yeah, I think that's it. We're gonna have to go up the stairs and be like... And get up there and talk to her? Yeah. And like grab her and they'll be like, how'd you do that? I'm like, magic. Go to the roof. I'm really like... We can do it! <laughs> Alright, now let's hug her from behind and like tackle her to the ground. Pull back. Yes. Come on, come on. We can do this. Uh Kate, please, please. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate! Your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing oh, all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about <laughs> me. Don't say that. I know. <laughs> that makes me feel better. I'm your friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Should we say it? You were drugged? I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions of videos? Um... There are billions of videos. Kate! There are billions of videos out there! Yours will fade away like white noise. God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied, too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. 
He's the only one I know who believes in me. Aren't you glad see? we looked at all You're that not shit? alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> we're um. not going with the top one. Oh, which one was it at the beginning? God damn it! Um, yeah, good dad, good idea. <laughs> Stacy's looking it up. <laughs> Look up Matthew eleven twenty eight. Uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight is the "Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened." And no, then, that sounds like a suicide thing. I know. So. And that one was, uh... When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the s sinners. Yes. So, Proverbs. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. They don't believe in justice, Max. They don't believe in anything anymore. What? We should have. We should have. We should have done the one that wasn't crossed out. What? Cause justice was crossed out, and the other one wasn't. So we wanted the come to come to me, all who are weary and burdened. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but no. Reload. Last checkpoint. Yes. No. I know <laughs> this isn't pleasant for any of us. But we have to. We don't know that we could Exit to main menu. We don't know that we could have saved her. We can. We can play. We can save her. I'm sorry, I can't I can't live with that decision with her dying. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm just hoping that we can get the right sequence of things to save her. Is it just the proverb or it must be the proverb because one was crossed out and one was not crossed out. Yeah. But I'm saying like, is that the only thing that we need to change? All the other ones seem to be making her happier. So here's my question. Like, in the time that we're talking with her on the roof, don't you think that somebody else would have made it up there by then? Like, we keep her busy for a pretty good amount of time. You're not supposed to run up to somebody yes. who's about to jump, though. I know, but you'd think that somebody would have made it to yeah. us, would have made it to the roof. Yeah. Don't. Shit. Okay, we can do this. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend? Mm-hmm. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? 
Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Everybody will forget or be strong, because I think the billions of videos made her upset. Yeah, I think so too. So maybe be strong? Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Still smiling. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Your father. Your father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Please. Come on. Please. Ah! Kate, hold on to her! Oh, hold on to her! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I want to hug her so bad. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. I'm like so... I can't. <laughs> I'm so nervous I have to pee. <sighs> now I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud Fuck of the you. way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. What did you assholes Nathan? do? Nathan, nothing. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. What? As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my no, duties don't. seriously. You take money seriously. I take the well-being of every student more really? seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was missed. Oh, what about you? And you! Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I ran... Nathan dosed her. No, yeah. wait. Uh, Nathan, they're not gonna... Jefferson made her cry, and then I was like, oh my god, like, she's crying. And then I left class, and I thought maybe she... I saw her, and I ran. Yeah. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh... No, wait, I regret this. ...has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her. Would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent oh. Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Oh, Are you no. serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. 
Max told me she knew things about wow, Mr. Max. Everyone's just snitching Let right Max now. speak wow. for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power should, again. Nathan. Yeah, we should throw Nathan under the bus. Like, completely, and let it run over him and back up again a couple I times. I want to be able to read that contract before I sign it, though. I don't know if we can. Nathan. Yep. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident. And now it has more weight. And I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Oh, Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right Shut now. Shut the fuck up! I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. What does that say? Really? You're. I, I want to know what the statement says. Because I don't trust that motherfucker. I do not trust him. Well, our only option is to sign the statement. Maybe there's another. Fine. <laughs> she appears to be reading it. Okay, so I feel. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. See where 24-7 snitching gets you? Mm -hmm. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Nathan, you're gonna go to jail. You better. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. It's not just Viral a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? That's it, Warren. You keep it 100. What the hell is this? What? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Aww. Nice. Good job, Warren. So smooth, Warren. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Holy shit. 
We gotta wait for the credits though to see if your name is in there. <laughs> I think he's a good guy. He just, he just like, can't do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He might be like a douchebag, but it try he tries to be good. Now what's up with him? I still think he's weird. Is somebody yelling at him? Yeah, that's the principal yelling at him. Why would they be... Huh. I think that Mr. Jefferson is sick of the principal's bullshit. Is sick of the principal's bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. Of course they're in love. I know. I feel like there's gotta be some other story there. They played off like there's something going on other yeah, than that. Other than just the obvious. Like that there's a reason the two of them are thick as thieves, you know? Yeah. And here's the guy who threatened to cut us with his knife. Maybe they killed Rachel together. Possible, but then why does Frank oh, have Rachel? She's at a band up. They gave her an out of band. <laughs> For sure! They're like, here, take this bill, and she's like, damn! That's just, Adamant. Just... That's Adamant face! <laughs> oh, Chloe's by herself. Probably getting stoned or. No, she's so. Oh, no, never mind. Just kidding. No, she's smoking a cigarette. Oh, okay. So It's roll. not a marijuana cigarette! Sorry, Kate, I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on. Together. Together, forever! I think Chloe gets really upset when she's like not, not the center of attention, that's not how I mean it, but like when she's not getting enough emotional attention. I think that it freaks her out to what? be- Oh, oh, oh. I think it freaks her out Wait, to be Wait, hold on, alone. I need to- <sighs> No, I need to see more! Ah! What? Uh Medicine, alcohol, razor. It's it's a scrapbook. It's a really druggy scrapbook. It's got to be David. Yeah, because David was on the floxetine. He had the... I don't know. It's I feel like... Some of these people follow me on Twitter. Some of that... Michael Crush follows us yeah. on Twitter. Um... A lot of these people, John Luke Cano, wait, no, yeah, some of these people follow us on Twitter, that's pretty radical. Because they're awesome. Yeah, pretty and radical. And they were like, holy shit, this girl's pretty crazy, <laughs> but sometimes she makes sense. I bet that when they saw your Chaos Theory video, they were like peeing themselves. They were like, oh, somebody got it! Somebody noticed the butterfly! <laughs> <laughs> so. It's pretty neat. I want you guys to remember that I'm the one who believed in you all along. And I swear on every part of my soul, I did not see any leaks before I made those videos. Get down, AJ. Get down. <laughs> Get down. Oh, and huge thank you to Scott. Yeah, because he uh, he helped us a lot. So thank you, Scott. Yeah, and he's The just, community manager. Their community manager. He's an all-around really nice guy. And so we just wanted to give him a shout-out on yeah. our video. Yes. Because he's you. nice. He's really nice. Yeah. Ashley Birch wrote Voice Chloe from uh, Hey Ash, What You Playing? It's a good thing this is over because it is like... It's super late. <laughs> it's, it's eight. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. We did it. I'll try to get you home ASAP. As soon as we watch these super awesome credits, woo! Well, we're gonna get the preview, too. Rolling the dice. Rolling the I dice. bet my name's gonna be in the credits. <laughs> Super cool fan theory, Mari. <laughs> These things need to hurry up, though, because, like, you know how it's, like, for the last, like, 20 minutes of the game, you're like, oh, I have to pee, but I can't leave to pee. I and know. then by the end of it, you're like, ah! God damn it! I feel so much better than at the end of the first episode. 
I think if Kate had died, I'd be like sobbing and like on the floor right now. But <laughs> no, I'm really glad that you knew that we could change that. I did not know that. You just believed it. I believed it in my heart. Thanks. This is probably Kickstarter people. Yep. Hey, I'm just saying it would be be pretty neat. Production babies. I love it when they do that. They put where? Like, where's the production babies? It was a little bit up. It usually means like the names of people, people. on the team's babies that were born during production. Ah, and they were completely neglected. Scott blows. They they ha yeah. Scott blows. Woo woo. But they had the list on uh, DMC. Yes. Also. All those babies, neglected babies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Basically saying like sorry. Sorry for never being there. Yeah. Because <laughs> there was crunch time. All right. Dana, data analysis. You guys, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. Uh, okay. Come on, Montreal. Now we have to thank people in every different country. <sighs> we respect your credits. I have nothing like I I I. No, I have nothing against credits. It's it's purely my fault. No, no, no. I'm trying trying to think of like anything interesting to say because the last one we were like, and this is where you can get resources for being assaulted. And now I'm just like everything seems pretty okay now. I mean not I mean relatively better. Since like they're investigating Nathan and. If you feel the need to commit suicide. There's oh, always right. somebody who will want to talk to you. I swear there to God. There are suicide hotlines. There's friends. And if one friend is like, sorry, I'm busy, they don't know that you're going to kill yourself. So just call another friend. Or there's suicide hotlines. Or just be like, hey, I really need you right now. I really need you right now. I need help. Because if... Or you can actually call 911. Or you can drive yourself or get yourself to, the ho to a hospital. Tell them... I need to be checked in to the psychiatric ward or whatever ward they have, and they'll let you in and they'll t take you in. And you can do that voluntarily, and people won't give you shit. And if people give you shit, they're stupid. And if people give you shit, you just come talk to us, and we'll be like, hey, jerks. You tell them to tell me on Twitter what they said, and I will tweet at their hospital and say, this hospital is not up to par on psychiatric medicine. But just remember, even though you may feel like you're bothering people or being a downer, they would much rather have you, you know, say something that's not the, what they might interpret as, like, not convenient for them at the time than have you be gone. Yes. Like, they would rather do anything possible to keep you here than have you, than the alternative, which is be like, oh, well, I didn't have time to talk to her right now, and so just, like, she killed herself. Like, no, nobody would rather that alternative. They would rather you be alive. Yes. No matter what. In every instance. So, you should always try and talk to somebody. And, you know, there's actually a lot of, you know, if you don't feel like talking to somebody, there's a lot of forums that have to do with, you know, mental illness or, like, PTSD and things like that where you can get support from other people who are like you you're not the only one that feels that way there's so many other people and you're not by yourself and other people will understand you mm -hmm. and they'll love you for who you are we're almost done we're at the dobly digital Oh no! Play testers. <sighs> okay, thank you. Uh. Husbands, wives. <sighs> and thank us for playing. And thanks for playing, Mari and Stacy. <laughs> Specifically to us. I'm ready for this to like. Okay. You saved Kate. <laughs> Everybody blamed Nathan. <laughs> because we're all like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> so who's the asshole who didn't erase the link? Why would you not do that? Uh oh. That's Nathan's feet, I can tell. 
Whoa. Chaos theory. I love how that's like the whole preview. It's like feet, danger, flashlight. <laughs> that's like the whole thing.